G'day guys, Spud from Survive It Southwest, and today with me I've got Mini Spud from Survive It Southwest, and today we're just going to show you how to make a strong glue using a few things that you can find out here in the Australian bush. Before we do that, if you do like the content I'm putting out on my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, which I usually post about once a week, and be sure to like and share my videos around. And if there's anything that you want me to do, be sure to put it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Let's get into it. Okay, so while out in the bush, you may need to make some sort of glue for either sealing a container, gluing a few pieces together, like in a previous video where I made a cup to seal the bottom of the cup, or being able to make things like axes and ha hammers and stuff like that out here. And um, what first thing we're going to start with is behind me here, I have some grass trees. Now you can find these pretty well all over Australia, and it's not the top part we want. We want to have a look around the bottom part and I'll show you what we're looking for. Okay, so this is the base of the grass tree. Now we try not to hurt the grass trees because they only grow about one centimeter to two centimeters every year. So as you can see, this tree is very old. But what we're looking for here is as these trees get damaged, they release some of this sap, this resin. So if you're careful, that's what we're looking for. Now, if you're lucky, if you look around the bottom of the tree you can find big piles of it i've had a look so far and uh, i haven't seen any so we're just going to go harvest all these little sap pockets that you see all around the tree and that's going to be our first ingredient okay, so another good place to find sap is this one appears to have a lot down by the tree base and that's what we're looking for little nuggets of sap little nuggets of resin. So we'll collect some of them up. Be careful with your knife there, bud. Be sure you're only getting sap. Pretty hard. Yeah, we'll just leave that one there yet. It might not be ready to break off. How much have we got? A bit more. Not a biggie. Yep, dust it off and put it in. We don't want sand in there. Otherwise it'll it won't work. Look at this one. Whoa. Cool. Uh, I reckon that might be enough. Yep, that's no enough. Alright, so... As you can see, we've collected up our resin. We just want to dust it off, get as much sand out of there as possible, because we don't really want sand. But if you break it open, you can see it's got a nice little shine in there. And that's how you know it's the good resin. That one you can see very well. It's broken open. You got that nice shiny resin ball in there. And I got that. The second thing we're going to need is charcoal. Doesn't matter what sort of charcoal, just as long as it's burnt all the way through. So we don't want wood. We just want the charcoal itself. I 
Let's go. 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 Let